Today, I am needle felting a little pink teddy bear. Some symbol you required. Hello. So, I have a friend who is a newborn photographer, and she has asked me to make a cute little felted teddy bear that she can use for her cute little tiny baby photo shoots. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. Mm -hmm. I feel like it should go pretty quickly, but I've been proven wrong on that account many times. So we'll see how it goes, but I have a feeling that it's going to turn out pretty cute. At least that's the plan. <laughs> so first, I am going to felt all of the pieces that I need to make the teddy bear. I like will. the head and the body and the arms and the legs. That's right. I will roll and felt a pear-shaped body, a sort of round head, some arm and leg-shaped arms and legs. I guess cylinder-shaped, I guess. Are you going to felt its ears or are you going to do that later? I'll do that. I'll probably do that later. The next step is that I will use a little bit more of the core wool to make sure everybody is all attached together and kind of smooth things out. Then I will use some lovely light pink to give it some delightful furry skin. And that at that point I will do ears and try to make like bare face stuff happen. Yeah, you should give it an even lighter pink. I could do that too. If I have a lighter pink, we'll see. We'll see what I have. I could do sort of a- A light pink and even lighter pink. Something. I might, I might have something like that. I could try that. And then finally, I will add details like ears and you know, the cute eyes. little insides of ears, eyes, fingernails. I don't know. Fingernails? <laughs> Probably not fingernails, that would be creepy. And maybe you could add a cute bow. So, bad news. The first bear that I made, I think is a little bit too big. And also, it turns out that she wants to pose a little bit more like sleeping and snuggling with the bear rather than like, hi, and here's my bear. So it looks like I need to make another one. So I guess this is good news for those of you who are here because you like to watch me felt. That should be most of you. You do like to watch felt and don't you? So, here it goes! Bear version two. Snuggly. So, I don't know, I like both of them. I certainly liked the first one, and I kind of like the bow on top, or like as a bow tie. It's kind of cute. I feel like we might need to attach it to a little rubber band or something so that he or she can wear it on his ear or her neck. This one kind of reminds me of a gummy bear. That's cute. Cute and snuggly. So yeah, that little bear is it's pretty cute. And this little bear is also pretty cute. Well done! Bear's mate. while I was felting. Lily was working on her very first embroidery project, which is also a plushy. How cute. Uh, he's kind of derpy because his mouth is really low, but. He's cute. And really snuggly. <laughs> and snuggly and squishy. She also made a really cool. Llama. La llama thing. corn kit pillow. It's very cute, but apparently we don't get to see it today. Or maybe I've already taken a picture of it and I will show you over here. Wait, what? You never know! <laughs> 
And she's also working on a really cool paper camper. Maybe we'll show you when it's finished. It's a really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So far, we recommend it. We'll let you know how it turns out. Whoa. <laughs> it's like bowling. So if you like this video and you like this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know you can do that right underneath the video. And click the bell so that you hear every time there's a new video. They come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And they are all varied and different. And my wrist is killing me, so the next one is not going to be a felting video. <laughs> Needs a break. So, while you're waiting for the next video, you can check out some more. They'll pop up at the end, and we will be around here thinking of awesome new crafts to do and whatnot. So, we will see you on the next video. Bye!